in this video we will find the derivative of sec inverse x so first we can let y is equal to sec inverse x or it can be written as sec y is equal to x we know that sec y is equal to hypotenuse upon base in a right angle triangle so we can draw a right angle triangle in which this angle is y and the side opposite to this angle is perpendicular and the side opposite to 90 degrees is hypotenuse and the side adjacent to y is base so since sec y is equal to x and sec y is equal to hypotenuse upon base so we can write hypotenuse upon base is equal to x or we can say hypotenuse upon base is equal to x upon 1 so we can suppose hypotenuse is equal to x and base is equal to 1 now we can find the value of perpendicular by Pythagoras theorem so we know that Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so hypotenuse is x so we have x square plus base is 1 so 1 square plus p square so we have x square is equal to 1 plus p square or we can write p square is equal to x square minus 1 so the value of perpendicular is square root of x square minus 1 now we will take the derivative of sec y is equal to x so differentiating both sides with respect to x we have d by dx of sec y is equal to d by dx of x now we cannot integrate sec y with respect to x so we will apply the chain rule so we have d by dy of sec y multiply by dy by dx is equal to 1 because the derivative of x is 1 now the derivative of sec y is sec y tan y dy by dx is equal to 1 so we can say that dy by dx is equal to 1 upon sec y tan y now the value of sec y is x and now we have to find the value of tan y so we know that tan y is equal to perpendicular upon base and the value of perpendicular is square root of x square minus 1 and the value of base is 1 so we will put the value of perpendicular which is square root of x square minus 1 and the value of base which is 1 so tan y is equal to <coughs> square root of x square minus 1 now we will put the value of sec y which is x over here and the value of tan y which is square root of x square minus 1 so dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x square root of x square minus 1 now the value of y is sec inverse x so we can write sec inverse x in place of this y so we have d by dx of sec inverse x is equal to 1 upon x square root of x square minus 1 so the derivative of sec inverse x is 1 upon x square root of x square minus 1.